One of the things about Charles Drake was that with him you really got the full Monty. He didn't just stop at patenting the concrete building apparatus. Uh, he also patented uh, machines for crushing stones and rocks uh, into aggregates. And this is, this is one of them. Um, this is taken from a design, the patent drawings that are in the Science Museum Library. And this is his stone crusher of 1869. Um, I built this from the plans that are in, in the Science Museum Library. And uh, you can see it must be a health and safety person's nightmare, I think, with all these wheels whizzing round. Uh, but the idea was you put the, the rock in here and it will come crushed out down this little chute here. So quite a nice little machine. And it will be driven from this pulley here. Uh, by a 10 horsepower stationary engine of some kind, a steam engine. Um, so that's the stone crusher, uh, which uh, creates the aggregates. And you could crush up material that was on site. You didn't have to bring in stuff. If you had good aggregate that was on site or stones and bricks and things, you could crush it all up in that and uh, save some money. The other machine that he patented at around about the same time is this one, which is a one of the fairly early cement mixers. It's one of the first cement mixers to have a rotating drum. Quite a lot of the other ones at the time had a trough that had a sort of blade in it that went round. This one has got a rotating drum, which I've made out of a, um, a, a clear drinking glass, so you can see what's going on. And if we turn it on, you can see that the beaters can either work in the same direction as the drum, or very cleverly, you can reverse it so they go in the opposite direction. And the idea was so you would put your aggregate in here, water goes in there, you mix them all together, and the cement, uh, the concrete comes out here. What's slightly unusual about it is that you can have a continuous throughput. So you can keep feeding stuff in from here. It goes in at the uh, narrow end of the drum there and comes out there. So the poor old workers didn't have very much uh, in the way of um, a tea break, I think, with one of these machines going. And again, that would have been driven by a pulley going up to a stationary engine somewhere. But um, this was quite, a, quite an innovative design for a cement mixer. I think it's perhaps the prototype for, I mean, quite clearly recognisably the same as the ones that we use now even if we don't have a reversing gear on the ones we use now. So that's the uh, cement mixer.